Let's learn 1.3. The cough, the cough, and anthem. A N T H E M anthem. This topic. This topic is written by the writer. Name of the writer O. Henry. Now, short introduction about the writer. O. Henry was born in 1862 and died of 1910. William Sidney Porter is the full name of this writer. He was an American writer and better known by the pen name Henry. He was Grace's reader since childhood. He started the Thomas Weekly Rolling Stone. And when the venture failed, he joined the Houston Post as a reporter. Columnist, occasional cartoonist. The story of an anthem is one of the O. Henry's well-known stories to describe his style of writing people. He often used the term smile with tears, which implies his twisted way of thoughts ending in almost every story. In this story, the main character Soapy is a vagabond, is a vagabond and a <coughs> person with a criminal background. He makes different plans to re-enter the prison as he has no center to protect himself from severe winter. Severe winter, the story ends in unexpected way. O. Henry has depicted the Sufi's Utai attempts to get arrested in, in a very humorous way. The cow fan anthem is about the freedom and confinement initially. So he feels bad. That is freedom from miseries and worries. In confinement prison, the notes of anthem transform him from within the revolt resolved to work hard. So he faces the irony of a fate as the moment he realizes the real freedom lies in the virtuous life as he is taken into into confinement. The introductions of the writer O. Henry. He was born on 1600, sorry, 1862 and died on 1900. The full name of the writer was William Sidney Porter. The band name was O. Henry. He was an American writer. He had started his career as a reader in his childhood days. All his essays were very humorous. Cough and Anthem. This is the well known story of the writer. In the same story, the writer has reused them. Use the term of smile and tears. The important character in the same story is a Sophie. Who had a criminal background. He was very eager. He was very eager to join in the prison. But no one had given him chance. Whenever we read the total topic, we come to know that Sopi had got arrested by the police for three months in the prison. Prison. This is the background of our writer and the cop and anthem story. Now, I am going to read the paragraph stepwise. Sophie left his bench and strolled out of the square across the level sea of the asphalt where Broadway and Fifth Avenue flow together. 
Broadway turned and stopped at a luxury cafe. Sophie had confidence in himself from the lowest button of the best of world. He was seven and his coat was a dream. His neat black bow had been presented. Him by the lady missionary of Thanksgiving Day. If only he could reach a table in the restaurant and a prospective success would be would be his. The portion of him that the show about the table would raise no doubt in the bed. A roasted mallard duck thought a soapy would be about thing with a bottle of wine, the same cheese, cup of coffee, and a cigar. One dollar for cigar would be enough. Total would not be high as to call. Fourth extrema revenge from the cafe management, and the meat would leave him feeling happy for a journey to his winter's island. But as Sophie's feet set feet inside the restaurant door, the head waiter I fell upon, tattered trouser, tattered trouser and decayed shoes, strong ready hands turned him about and conveyed him in silence. As to the Sarbok, averted the ignoble fate of Menans de Millard, Sophie Dunn of Broadway, it seemed that his route at the coveted island would not be easy one. Some other way of entering the limbo must be devised. After a corner of the 6th Avenue, electric lights cunningly displayed bears behind the red cars made a show. Window entered to Sophie took a stone, dashed in through the glass. Those people came running around the corner. The policeman in the lane shook his two stone with his hand in pocket and a smile at the sight of brass button. Where the man that done that? inquired Officer hesitantly. Don't you think that I might have had something to it with it? said Sophie with a friendly voice as one breaks. Grits good fortune. <laughs> Two important points are given in the same paragraph. Sophie was very eager to go to the prison. But for this, for this thing he was searching everywhere how to go behind the bar near the prison. So he was wandering on the Broadway. Nearby the Broadway, there was a luxury escape was there. So he was confident and he decided to go in the cafe for for the breakfast. When he went inside the cafe. Desired to get that. But there was only one problem in front of Sophie was there was no money in his pocket. But confidently he entered inside inside the cafe after wearing the tattered clothes, tattered trouser and decayed shoes. Mr. Total nature of the Sophie. And he had filled his stomach fully. But there was not money available in his pocket. The waiter demanded him money. So he denied to give him money. And he told him that I have no money, so please inform the police. So that police can. But the waiter had not called to the police instead of their They had assaulted him. There was a step of successful plan of so we went to a successful plan. And that plan of made successful by the waiter. He had not had a little. 
level plus you get percentage back to the bar. Now the second, second incident is at the corner of 6th Avenue. There was electric lights cunningly displayed whereas behind the plate glass Sopi had taken a stone in his hand and hit on the window window suddenly the window had broken whenever the window had broken they came police whenever the policeman came there policeman came there and he watched here and there he was in the because the policeman was not confident the policeman was not confident about the robbery of the theft of but willingly Sophie told you that policeman I had broken the glass of that that six So please arrest me. Policeman. And not to tell the Next paragraph. The policeman refused to accept Sophie, even as a group. Men who smashed the window do not remain. The chat with the police. They took to their heels. The policeman saw a man halfway down, block running, block running to catch a car with a drab club. He joined in the pursuit. Sopi with a disgust in his heart drifted along, noise and successful. On the opposite side of the street was a restaurant of a no great, uh, no great potential. Further, the writer has explained that. Sophie had a smash and had broken the glass. But the police was not very ready. And he was thinking over the condition. If the man is smashing or breaking the glass and standing here with the people chatting, this is not the real nature of the real nature of the criminal. Means here, Sophie was purposely Get arrest, but the policeman did not believe me. He had turned his, turned his eyesight in the next direction. There is a man also running after the car. So he had, he had left Sufi there and running after that man who was running after the car. Yet the unsuccessful arrestment plan of Sufi was held. Okay. <laughs> On the opposite side of the restaurant, no great pretension. It gathered a large appetite and modest pursuit. He is a crockery, an atmosphere well thick. Soup of napari. Soup of napari came in into less soupy we took himself to the challenge. At the table he sat, consumed of lipstick, chapchap, dognut and pie. He told the waiter to fact that minutes by himself were to his furniture. Now get busy and call a cop, said Sophie. Don't keep a gentleman waiting. No cough for you, said the waiter with a voice like butter cakes. And I like a cherry in the Manhattan cocktail. Left and Kalos payment to a features of around joint by joint as 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 the carpenter's rules open dusted dusted his clothes arrested him how but the exclusive dream alas seemed very far away the policeman stood before the drug store two door away laughed and walked down down the street. Whenever Sopi denied to give money to that waiter, he had not. The waiter had not informed the police. Both 
Beta had caught him and taken out his dragon thrown in the dustbin. At the same time, two policemen were, were standing in opposite direction. They were laughing and walked down the street. Sophie was seized with a sudden fear. Some dreadful enchantment had rendered him immune to rest. He was in a state of panic, and when he came upon another policeman launching gradually in front of in front of a glitter theater, he caught at the image of straw disorderly conduct. On the sidewalk, Sophie began to get drunk and gibberish. At the top of the harsh voice, he danced, howled, raved, otherwise he struck his eyes. The policeman merely twirled his club, turned it back to Sufi, and remarked, remarked to citizen, This is one of them, all lads, celebration, goose egg, they given him, had four college noisy, but no harm, we were introductions to let them be. When a Sophie had a drink, he was selling. He was making noise on the road or attracting the other people towards him. And those people will complain against him. The police, the police will arrest him. But the police informed to the people that we have not a right to arrest those those boys or those people from the Hatford College we have not a permission to arrest them and no harm we have we have introductions to let them be this disconsolate disconsolate Supi stopped his unwilling racket never police lay hand lay hand in his fancy island, Sibran, an attentable Arcadia, he buttoned his coat against a chilling wind. In a cigar straw, so as well addressed the man, lighting a cigar at the swinging light, and had a set, set him umbrella by the door on entering. So he stepped inside, grabbed the umbrella, and snorted off with the story. The man at the cigar light followed hastily. My umbrella, he said sternly. Oh, it is it? Sneered Sophie, adding insult to Betty largely. Well, why don't you call the policeman? I took it. Your umbrella, why don't you call the cop? There stands one of the coroner. The umbrella owner slowed. In the step, Sophie did like, likewise with a premonition that luck would again run against him. The policeman eyed at the two curiously, both towards the umbrella man. Well, you know how this mistake occur. If it is your umbrella, I hope you will excuse me to pick up this morning in the restaurant if you recognize it as it as it was. Time to so savagely. This ancient umbrella man retreated the policeman to across the street. Uh, she had tall ground in an opera cloak across the street in front of the car was approaching two blocks away. The second scene is shown in the same paragraph nearby the uh, in the restaurant. In the restaurant there came a man who was smoking cigar. That man had placed his umbrella outside the restaurant. At the same time Sophie was there. He had picked, he had picked that umbrella and dispersed from his place. Dispersed from his place. When the man Umbrella man came to know that Sophie was taking his umbrella 
he was hastily running after Sophie. After covering some distance, Sophie, the Vishwam and the man asked, Oh gentlemen, this umbrellas belong to me where you are taking. Sophie, the angry and he asked, this umbrella is yours? belong to you but this umbrella belong to me so he said to that man and there was there was silent dispute between or a few dispute between two of them finally the man or the cigar man told to Sophie that okay now listen this umbrella is also this also smuggled by me I had taken out this umbrella and another restaurant. Perhaps this umbrella might eat. This umbrella might eat me up now too. If this umbrella belongs to you, okay, take it and go away. So umbrella, there was another unsuccessful plan of the imprisonment of Sophie. Sophie walked eastward through the street damaged by improvement. Im improvement, he heard, <coughs> he heard umbrella angrily into the, an excavation. He muttered against the men who wear the helmet and a carry gloves because he wanted to fall into their clutches. They seemed to regard, regard him as a king who could do nothing wrong. At a length, Sophie reached one of the venues. Last effort, whenever the man had not taken this umbrella, Sophie, Sophie had placed this umbrella along with him. But unsuccessful plan, unsuccessful plan of imprisonment, going to the prison. So Sophie was very angry and angrily he had thrown that umbrella, that umbrella in the excavation area. Into the excavation because unsuccessful man. And meanwhile, he saw the two policemen wearing helmet. He was angrily, angrily saying some bad words to them because they had not arrested to be. Here is the once again unsuccessful plan of imprisonment of the big Sophie behind the bar. At a length, Sophie reached one of the avenues to the east where the glitter at turmoil as well was but fancy. He dragged himself towards some Madison Square for the homing instinct of survival where the home is far fancy. But on an unusual quiet corner, Sophie came to stand still. Here was a old church, here was an old church, quaint and rambling, cabled through the colored stained window, a soft red cloth, where no doubt the organist loiter over the keys making sure the mastery of coming, Sabbath, Sabbath anthem, for their drifted out to Sufi's ear, sweet music that caught and held the tax, tax fixed against the convulsion, convulsions of the pyramids. The man was, the man was a heart, full and radiant. Vehicle and penetrations were few sparrows, twittered steeply in the use of the little wire, she might have been a country churchyard. And the anthem that against a bread cemented Sophie to the iron offense for he had known it well in the days when the life, life contained in thieves such things as mother roses and ambition and friends and incalculate thoughts and colors. The conjunction of Sophie's respective state of mind and the influence about the old church brought a sudden and wonderful change in his soul. He viewed with the rising horror with he had tumbled, he, he created his unworthy desire 
dead hopes, break Rafael, tackle this and best motives that made him existence, made him existence and also moment in heart responded thrillingly to his strange mood. Strong impulse moved him too. In the last part of this topic, the writer had explained the last incident of the Sopi. But the Sopi was reached near one of the avenue. Avenue was there, east where the glitter, the turmoil of the plan. Towards the Madison corner, there was a church. Sopi was standing there. And the Sabbath means the sound of prayer, sound of the Christian prayer. Prayer is coming through that window. He stopped there. So we stopped there and listening, listening the prayer of Jesus. Whenever he was listening, those prayers. In those days, how he had taken care by his mother, his friends, all those things are remembered from that place. He had not a chance to chance to disperse. Means he was he stand he stood there. He stood there without motion. Because his mind was telling to him this in holy place. Where the Sabbath continuously played and going on. That is the respected state and it was about the old church and sort of wonderful change in itself. The incident had made wonderful change in the soul, in the mind of Sophie, but the beautiful rising horror, it into which he had tumbled. Means the present life and present life and past life, both things are mixed together by the writer of Henry in the character of the character of Sophie. Present in present condition, he was behaving, he was behaving in a horrible manner, but in past, whenever he was in child stage, in child stage, his nature was totally different. Here is the here is the two body incident we said together by the writer telling the people telling the people how the how today's man is and how the past man was. This is the mixture of the two incidents made by the writer in a humorous way. You know very well that the adult people are not behaving like this. Children or childhood childhood people or the small children are behaving like this. But the Sophie had Sophie had presented both the stages together, childhood and adult stages together. So the Sophie was really a humorous character by the writer of Kohinari. And also moment his heart responded thrillingly, a strange mood, a strange impulse moved him on to a battle with the disparate factor. He would he would fool himself out the mire. He would make a man of himself again. He would conquer the evil that had enslaved him. There was a time. It was he was a young yet he would resurrect the old eager ambition and pursue them without altering those salaman but sweet organ Tomorrow he would go into the, the rolling downstairs way and go work. A fur importer had once offered him a place as a driver. He would have some, some somebody in the world he would. <laughs> so he fed a hand lay on arm. He looked quickly around him in impassive face of a policeman. 
Why you don't care? Asked the officer. Nothing, said Sophie. Then come along, the policeman. Three months on the land, said the magistrate of the police court next morning. In the last, in the last part of the topic, in the last part of the topic, the writer had shown the total strange in nature of a soul. Whenever all attempts of Sophie was failed to go to the prison, had decided to take lesson from the Sabbath prayer song and to change his life. So he went to downstairs in search of work. The fur driver had given him given him as a job of Everything was okay. Not robbery, not cheating people, only doing our work very honestly and we have been. That was the final decision. That was the final decision taken by Sophie. But the luck was not on the side of Sophie. Whenever he was walking on the road, silently, at his backside, Backside, there came a police officer and placed the hand on his shoulder. Whenever the man had placed his hand on his shoulder, Sophie hurriedly turned back. Who are you? Why are you dragging me? Why are you stopped me? The policeman. Told to Sophie that you must go to Winter's Island. You are not arrested by me. That is the order of magistrate. So you should be arrested. And at the same time, Sophie was not arrested by the police officer and sent to the prison. This is the last part of our topic. This is the last incident of the story. So what exact, what exact incident created by the writer of Henry? The incident is in the primary stage, the nature of the nature of Sophie was very criminal. He had decided to go to the winter island in the prison. But no one was ready. No one was ready to set him behind the bar. One stage. Second stage, when he had decided, when Sophi had decided to live very happy life, your life, at the same time the police arrested. Means if you are behaving in a good manner, you do not treated well by the society people. Definitely you are accused. You are always blamed. Whenever you are behaving in a bad manner, you are respected by the criminal people. So the two incidents, two incidents mixed together by the right of ordinary. Good, good behavior and bad behavior. The both the behavior were lived by, lived by the Sopi. So Sopi felt repent. Today I am living very good life. I have not a desire to go to the prison because I am working as a driver. But the police, policeman had got arrested me. And sent behind the bar. I do not lie. But this is the repent, repentance nature of Sophi. But the writer, but the writer had amazingly created this picture as an amazement for the spectators, for the readers, the parents of the topic that come and